Well, a man in Virginia went to a, a Waffle House recently. I know mm. what you're thinking. Mm-hmm. So what? Who cares? Mm-hmm. No big deal. But there was no one to be found. It sounds like a scene out of a movie or a television program. William Davis uh, woke up hungry, and he said, and drove from Brookneal to the Waffle House in Lynchburg, Virginia, at 3 in the morning on a Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Not exactly your prime time. They're right. open, though. Uh, that's right. Dave's right. 24-7? Yeah, most. yeah, that's the rule. I thought so, right? That's the rule. That's right, yeah. Uh, but when William got there, he saw something he never expected, an empty Waffle House. He put it on his own. He fa- started. Gra- he grabbed his phone and started shooting video. This is uh, from his Facebook Live. So you think the employees are asleep? Or well, what is really going on? Well, do y'all think I should just get on up out of here? Nobody there. Nobody. But the door was open? Oh, oh yeah, it's open oh, for yeah. business. Nobody there. Yeah, in fact, uh, according to William, uh, there were dishes on the table, mm-hmm. and hot water was running back in the kitchen. Yep. Running? Running. Running. Hot water running. So he waited how long? 10 or 15 minutes? I don't know how long he was there. He said a good 10 minutes in mm-hmm. his words. Yep. And then finally, he said, well, I got nothing here. So he left, and he just... When he was interviewed by the news, said surreal experience. I felt like they had walked away because the water was still running. Usually, that's a a place of business, and when you walk in, they welcome the Waffle House, you know. And I never did see anyone, so I just thought it was very strange. God it is, something. yeah, God it is strange. something. It is strange. That's right, one hundred percent strange. Uh, he did. He did he... see two cars in the parking lot. He said, and yeah. one had its door slightly open. Mm-hmm. So he wasn't sure if someone was sleeping inside, you know, a Walmart and Walmart, 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 thank you. That's right. I had, you know, stepped out, quiet time, take a break, Mm -hmm. catch a smoke, and fell asleep. Three in the morning. On Tuesday. Left the water, uh, kept the water running by accident. Now. To their credit, WSET-TV went to that same Waffle House the next day and uh, said to the manager, what's going on with your place? Manager said. First I've heard about it. (laughs) Well, that sounds about right. <laughs> First I heard of it. Want to go on camera? Nope. nope. <laughs> Not allowed. <laughs> what do you have to say about your restaurant being empty? Who's what now? <laughs> this restaurant's never empty. Always somebody Who here. You're talking about right 24-7. <laughs> yeah. No, you're close. Now, I know we have tons of listeners who had this, who had the skill set yeah. to walk behind the counter of a Waffle House and make themselves yeah. a meal. Oh, Yeah. Well, remember our the legendary, yeah. dearly departed P one James, uh, Gator. Gator, Gator also was a Gator work. And James, yeah, he was in IHOP or the he did he worked Waffle he House. worked the Waffle House. Gator he was said, Waffle House. He used to go up on top people. of the uh, roof and smoke cigarettes and drink beer. We have Gator. No, that's Gator. That's Gator. That's Gator. Yeah, G- Gator said. That. Well, believe it or not, I can't say the word, but uh, believe it or not, I used to be a cook at a Waffle House. Is that right? Yeah. And we had a ladder on the back. And I worked third shift, and sometimes there wasn't that many people. And I'd keep me a case of beer on the top. And I stood up there on top of the roof and drank my beer. Somebody pulled up, and I said, well, hell, I got to go cook now. <laughs> well, I climbed down there and go. And then I drink white liquor, too. Mm-hmm. And they and I drink white liquor and put ice in it, and they think I just drank your water. Wow. Do you think it affected your cooking in a negative way? No, I think it learned me to cook better because I can cook. I can cook good. Yeah. I didn't have no, I didn't have no complaints. Yes, it was pretty good then. What was your specialty? What did you like making most at Waffle House? Well, is the only thing is aggravating is when they holler. I can't remember exactly. It's been so long. They go uh, easy over egg and this and that and hash browns and. That just gets aggravating. Yeah. Oh, the service ho- hollering out the orders. Yeah, that's the problem when they yell Short at you. Short order cooking. That's how it goes. Evan, you're talking about Waffle House. When this gentleman went, nobody was there. Go ahead. Yeah, I used to uh, work with a guy here in Greensboro. He was like a regional manager for Waffle House. And uh, this was during COVID. He said, you know, since Waffle House is open 24-7, a lot of the managers don't even have keys to the building. Hmm. And so, you know, they just kind of change, changing of the guards, so to speak. And uh, so that might explain why there was nobody there. If somebody walked out or didn't show up on time, the doors are just open. Just open. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, you just go on home if you wanted to. 
I think since the guy did see a car in the parking lot and the door was slightly open. And the open, water was running. And the water was running. They, they went out to take a little nap or smoke and fell asleep, that kind of thing. Thanks, Evan. You're right, though. You know, um, the convenience store sheets around here, they're open 24-7, and they used to. I don't know if they still do this. At the grand opening, they'd take a key and float it off in a helium balloon and say, that's it. It's yeah, open. Don't now. need the key anymore. Don't need the key. We, we never, opened it up. Never closed. Never closed. Now, they asked the gentleman who went to the Waffle House, will you be back now that you've had this odd experience? Do not let this discourage you from eating at Waffle House. Hey, I'll tell you, the um, the scattered and covered um, hash browns with the birch chili is bad. So, <laughs> <laughs> You'll be back in here. You hear the chili? You put the chili on top of the scattered and smothered? Yeah. I'll say something about Waffle House. Yeah. They got good waffles. Yeah, brother. Yeah, they like their waffles. They got yeah. really good you waffles. You like them waffle? Well, they're not those Belgian waffles. I don't like those. They're too thick. Too thick. They got the thin ones mm -hmm. with little crevices. All the butter gets in there. Mm -hmm. Shoot. You're a it, fan. That yes. was that was yeah. the uh, the running joke for for decades. That no one ever ordered waffles at, at a waffle, waffle House. house. Mm, I love them. I like their hash browns. I think they're good. Yeah. That's a pretty hash good place. Used to be good. It's pretty good. Now, of course, most people who go in there are drunk. Right. Well, yeah. there's a time of day sure. in there. Yeah. At the time Sometimes. of day. At the time We're of day. We're hungover the yeah. next day. Yeah. The time of day. That's right. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, P1 who had an experience at a Waffle House. Go ahead, sir. I'm uh, a college umpire, and a bunch of us met for a NAIA Invitational Tournament down in Orange Beach, Alabama, about 15 years ago. And I hadn't drank anything for a long time. And we were staying on the beach, and we got there. We had a picnic the night before the tournament started for the umpires and the coaches. And got thrashed. About 1 o'clock in the morning, we were in a Waffle House. And as soon as we walked in, I sat down at the Waffle House bar, and waffle steam came out of the machine, and I got a big waffle of it. I knew I was about to shoot. <laughs> I, I, I made it to the door, and as soon as I did, I mean... Steven Spielberg special effect vomit all over a Jaguar. I mean, projectile, hunky. It was terrible. And, uh, I just kind of wiped my mouth back off and won't make you inside out. <laughs> well, I got to like your style. <laughs> I hope it didn't turn you off a of Waffle House. <laughs> no, I still eat at Waffle House right regular. There it is. You can't you can't turn off right. the fans. Uh -uh. You the cannot. Fan, you the can. fans love the franchise. There's two experiences. Nobody there, he's going back. This guy, Waffle Steam, vomit. <laughs> yeah. He's going back. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Boy, he really described that well, did he? Sure did. Beautifully. <laughs> Waffle Steam and Bill. 3D IMAX. <laughs> Should be a writer. <laughs> Steven Spielberg. Yep. Whoa, oh, Jaguar. <laughs> <laughs> Chunk <laughs> and chunks. <laughs> Oh God! Yeah. Oh my goodness! I hadn't been in the Waffle House in a long time. We should I go there. Either. It's we been a while. There. Yeah, there's a new one here in town. Maybe we could take our next uh, morning show lunch meeting there at a Waffle House. Yeah, let's I'm do low that. carb right now. Uh, but when I, uh, listen, I'm o I'm only eating certain things right now. You know, you used to be fun. I used to like talking to you about stuff. <laughs> Not anymore. We used to sit here and chat. Anymore. You know, and the burrs are coming up, and you yeah. and I. I know. We used to we used to embrace over the burrs. I know. September, October, I know. November. Dave's gonna have to find the new burr bro. How about you find somebody else? You go in, you'll get booed out of a Waffle House. <laughs> I'm on some dietary restrictions. Yeah. Burr, <laughs> get him out of here. Puke I, in his car. I, <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was at Chicken and Pickles with Diesel this weekend, and I had to take, I, I ordered a side salad with some grilled nuggets, and I took my own uh, balsamic vinegar and olive oil and mixed it there. Oh, Jerry Scott. In the, in the Chicken and Pickles, and I had to do a little quick you mix. You have any clean ramekins? <laughs> Yeah, what do you my, want in them, sir? I took nothing. Just I, empty. I took my own ramekin and uh, went to town on it. It's just, uh, you know, it's a different way to live. Do you have any fresh I'm, cracked pepper? That's how I'm living right now. You know, that's you just. Do sea salt? It's gotten so ingrained. You're happy with the results? But I your am, life's not happy. Well, it's gotten so ingrained in me. It's like, a, I don't know when I'm turning back. You know, it's you like, can't now. I, I guess not. I think it's, uh, it's yeah, it's, it's in you in now. Me now, that's right. I'm or taking, out of you, as the case but, may be. Oh. Boy, and don't get the don't get the diesel started on uh, waste at a place like Chicken and Pickles, for instance. Waste, you mean yeah. food or uh, packaging? Packaging, because. We ate there. Diesel's an I'm going to eat here guy. He does not eat in his car. Will not eat in car, and he always eats there, whether he's by himself or what. And uh, used to, of course, you'd get it on the tray. Well, now, like, I got the salad, and they brought it over in a big plastic bag and put it on the table. And Diesel's, Everything's bagged? Yeah, everything's, everything's bagged. Now, his came in a paper bag, but mine came in a plastic bag. He's like, that's, that's so much waste. 
And, you know, they gave me a ton of stuff, uh, napkins and straws and stuff that I didn't really even use. Is that, like, is that a whole, whole it's a, it's, it's a COVID, from COVID, it's a COVID because thing. they didn't want to use, reuse trays? That's right. It's a COVID thing. But now... Now everybody gets their own yeah. distinct meal. But I think you can reuse the tray now. You know, I think you can go back to where... I agree with them on that. It's like there's really no... Plus, they messed up my salad. They put on fried nuggets instead of grilled. Oh. So I had to tell them. Excuse I me. I raised my hand. Excuse me. And I said, these are supposed to be grilled. I oh, guess... did we mess up your wife's salad? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's actually my salad. <laughs> what? She's in the car, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're the one with the messed up uh, salad for the wife. It's actually my salad. Oh. Mm. It's not the guy, your, your husband. Is it his salad? Yeah. No, I, I had to raise my hand. And mm-hmm. Over here at table seven. Mm-hmm. Is a, is a, mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, they brought me, the, they had to bring me a second salad. There's a trash bag full of grilled nuggets. And it's, <laughs> we, can't, we can't use these Which again. car are you in, the big uh, jacked up truck? Actually, the Prius. <laughs> <laughs> the leaf. <laughs> they brought me a second big plastic bag, and Diesel's like, "Look at this! My God, he's just so upset." The waste. The waste. The waste. Two big plastic. I didn't even need one. They could have brought me the the salads in a plastic container too. He's upset. But overall, that. when you build uh, a new chicken and pickles building, yes. and you have to stock it. Mm-hmm. You have to stock it with new trays, and I'll bet it's cheaper to ha- give you a two cent bag. Every time than it is to buy a new tray, a four dollar, a five hundred, a four dollar tray. But you're going to use that tray over and over again. That bag is one time. Yeah, but they get lost. They get put in the trash. Well, maybe and you're not right. many people go in there. Well, that's true. Mm-hmm. But but the, and so they're using. You're right. They're but they didn't need the bag. They could have handed me the salad. Really, I mean, come on. It's in a plastic container. No, that's not. They uh, didn't do it that way. That's not sop. Uh, Stephen, you're talking about Waffle House as well. Go ahead. What's going on, guys? I uh, just want to say, guys, I turned 30 this month, and I've been listening to the show every day pretty much since I was like 18. I'm a huge fan. I love you guys. But uh, you guys were talking about the Waffle House, man, and everybody seems to uh, kind of love it. But I don't know, man. I've had some pretty bad experiences, you know. If uh, roaches in the parking lot, you know, you got to – sometimes you get a nice uh, – you get a nice film on the table that's probably been there since like eighty six or eighty seven, yeah, you know. Yeah, I hear you. Even around, I hear you. You know, but uh, me and my girlfriend go all the time. Used to go all the time, I guess I should say. And I always told her how much I disliked it. And it finally came one day. Uh, <laughs> the waitress comes to give us our uh, drinks, and uh, she's got a nice old bloody band aid on her finger, <laughs> and <laughs> she gives us our drinks. <laughs> and you know, they put the little uh, <laughs> they put the paper towel down under it, the napkin down under it, and I look, and there's a couple of on my uh, oh, napkin. Gross. And, uh, That's it. They, uh, what is uh, can I? She's oh, grab that back real quick. Oh, let me uh, let me get you a new one. And uh, mm. needless to say, after that, uh, anytime we're looking to go somewhere to eat i always joke around uh you sure you don't want to go to the waffle house and uh, uh yeah. yeah that's we, pretty rough there. Yeah, that's have, you, have you switched your allegiance to like ihop or someplace else yeah we uh we try to keep it a little bit more uh local now uh, you know yeah okay. i got you i got right. listen thanks very much Stephen. thanks for yeah, the man. Nice that's all character and atmosphere it waffle is house, yes. what we call it part of the charm thank you Stephen. the blood <laughs> that's right <laughs> yeah. character and atmosphere personal mm-hmm. service that's local right. that's right <laughs>